Hello, everybody. I'll give it a few uh, few more seconds for some more folks to pop in. First of all, thanks to Hot Topic for having me. And um, let me properly introduce myself. My name is Nick. I play in a band called Sleeping With Sirens. And um, we are a band from the United States who are currently home because, you know, touring is not an option for us right now. So uh, just making the best of it. And in a bit, I'm going to bring in my boy, one of my best friends, uh, Mr. Kellen Quinn, who is a singer of Sleeping With Sirens. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. How's everyone doing today? What are you guys up to? Happy Friday. Feeling good today? Hello, hello. Got a lot of folks in here. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna hang out for a bit. I mean, that's really what this is all about, right? Everyone's doing Instagram Lives right now and just hanging about and just having a good time. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so with everything going on right now, um, it's super important um, to be able to use this platform to reinforce uh, the importance of staying home right now. Um, you know, I know you're seeing it a bunch on social media and on the news and from your friends and family, but, you know, it is of utter importance that, you know, uh, we're adhering to that right now. And, you know, I do want to take this moment to give a special shout out to all of the amazing doctors, nurses, and everyone else working in the medical field right now who are working tirelessly to, um, to help so many people that um, are affected by what's currently going on. So much love to you guys. If there's anybody in here um, who is within the medical field, much love to you, for real. You're doing such an amazing job. Cannot thank you enough. Um, so yeah, so what have I been doing to, uh, to stay mentally healthy at home? Well, um, a lot of things. <laughs> I'm sure for a lot of you, um, you're picking up new hobbies, you're, uh, you're, you know, picking up something where you left off that may have collected some dust and you're like, cool, I'm going to take this on now. Home projects, um, that's been a big thing for, uh, for me and my wife. You know, we've been reorganizing, decorating the house. And um, actually the other day I was uh, reorganizing and cleaning up a bunch of my Funko Pop vinyls. Um, you know, give them a little love, you know, no better time than now to kind of take care of, uh, my Funko toys. So you can kind of see in the background back there, I've got some hanging up or hanging up there on shelves, but, um, I pulled a couple to show you guys. Um, one of my favorite Disney movies is Coco and I love Miguel little uh, Diamond Series Hot Topic exclusive right there. What, what? Oh, yeah. What's your guys' favorite Disney movie? What you got? I know. I want to go to Hot Topic so bad right now, too. I feel you. Every time I go in there, I just go straight to the Funko wall. I'm just... That's it. I beeline it straight to the, to the monstrous wall of Funkos and just try to talk my wife into letting me... Yeah, break, come come home with about a hundred different Funkos. Um, my other favorite one is uh, this James Hetfield Metallica Funko. Um, one of my favorite bands ever is Metallica. So I've got all the I've got all the dudes from Metallica, but I pulled the James Hetfield because I love James Hetfield. Um, and then I've got these really cool. I keep these from uh, from fans that have given me uh, personalized custom Funkos. Yeah, pretty badass, right? Um, so, yeah, I keep these because these are awesome. Uh, yes, I have seen Onward. Speaking of that, I saw Hot Topic posted um, an Onward Funko, I think it was yesterday, and now I really want it. And I've seen the movie twice, so, yeah, I loved it. I don't know if anybody else has seen it. Have you guys seen Onward yet? <laughs> It was badass. All right, so I think that it is time for me 
to bring in my boy, Mr. Kellen Quinn. See if I can, I can do this. Aha. Uh -huh. Ringing him up like we're gonna, like we're on FaceTime. There he is. What's going on, dude? I'm just sitting outside trying to get some uh, oxygen, man. Ooh, I like your, I like your, uh, you got a little, a little stash going. It's called the trash stash, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the trash stash. Yeah. How long you been growing that out for? That was just a couple days, dude. It looks good on you. I'm going for like a, like a buccaneer or something like that. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for like a pirate. pirate look. I love it. Well, everyone say hi to Kellen. He's here. Dude, I, I wish you, I, but I wish I wish you were here though. That's me too. I miss you. I bought, I bought a car. You bought a car. You want to see it? Yeah, show me your car. Okay, hang on. I gotta turn it around this way. Check that out, dude. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a Barbie Jeep. Wow, that is a sick ride, dude. Yeah, dude, it's like a nice purple and pink color. How many how many miles were on it, or was it new? Oh, it's brand new, dude. Wow, look at that. <laughs> <Paid pretty> fast. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, uh, so what have you been? Uh, what have you been doing since you've been uh, since you've been home? Hiding from my kid. Hiding from your kid. Yeah. <laughs> like right now. Like we're what you're currently doing. <laughs> we're, playing, <laughs> we're playing a never-ending game of hide and go seek. And you're currently winning, clearly. I'm winning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, I've just been. Um, I've been reading a lot. What have you been reading? Training. So I'm reading uh, this book called The War on Art right now, which is pretty okay. sick. What's that and, all about? Uh, it's just about being creative and not letting um, like corporate stuff interfere with like creativity and just trying to make music and create things for the sake of making them without any expectation or aspiration other than just creating cool stuff. Just cool. trying to get back to that a little bit. That rules, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. I've been reading uh, The Fellowship of the Ring. Get down oh, some getting, Lord of the Rings back. You're, getting, you're turning into a hobbit. I, I already am a hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> I already resemble a hobbit, so yeah. Dude, I'm Golem. <laughs> so what have you been listening to lately? That you You're always like, you. I feel like you are the most... Um, like I would consider myself an eclectic music listener, but I feel like you're always kind of a, a step ahead and you're always listening to new stuff that I've never heard of. So um, you should, you should, enli you should enlighten phone, us. I'd have to get in my phone to look. Um, and that would pause myself. On the <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, Honestly, dude, I, I don't know. I've just been listening to music that I like to like run and work out to. So if I can go outside and get a quick run in uh, around the neighborhood, then I'll yep. do that. And I always usually throw on like Belmont or counterparts for that. Cool. Um, do you ever listen to do you ever listen to us? Like our band? Yeah. Uh, only when Jack forces me to listen to one of his riffs. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Somebody uh, asked me this the other day, and um, I said, like, I, I only listen to our band until we turn the record in, and then I don't really ever listen to it. Like, when we had the the 10-year anniversary of With Years to See and I See Here, that was, like, the first time I'd heard that album in, like, years. Did you listen to it all the way through, or did you just kind of skim through it? I did. No, I listened to it from front to back. Cool. And um, it was funny listening to my younger self sing. Yeah, I think that you and I are on the same page with that. I always get really, um, I always feel kind of weird. It's not the right answer, but listening to you feel like Kanye West. Yeah, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that you mean? You never heard that? You never heard that? Uh, I can't remember what comedian said it. I think it was like Dave Chappelle or something. No, it was Aziz Ansari, but he was like, he went over to Kanye West's house and it was like a party that Kanye was throwing, and Kanye was just listening to his own music. Oh, see, that sounds like the most awkward <laughs> thing to me. That was just he said like... it was definitely awkward. He said Kanye's like, oh, yeah, man, I love this shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I know that uh, Lil Wayne is the same. 
he he strictly only listens to his own music and nobody else. So whenever he's asked questions about other artists or like what's out, like he literally has not a clue because he just listens to himself. That's it. It's kind of, it's kind of hard. Like, I feel like that hinders your chances of that, that can't be real because you can't not listen to other people to know what's going on in the world to like create a new record. You would make the same album over and over and over again, I feel like. You'd be surprised. I've, I'll, show, I'll send you some links of uh, interviews I've seen, and they literally, like, they, they don't listen to anything else. It's, it's wild. I couldn't do that. I couldn't just listen to us. It would, no, it would I, drive me crazy. <laughs> but um, I, like, I like the new single that Jack's teasing. I, can't I like it, too. Out. I've been getting a lot of messages about it. Yeah. I was thinking about playing it today, but no, nah, we're just gonna we're gonna hold off. That's that's how long the song is. That clip that you heard. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks it's a full song, but really, yeah, it's just ten it's only seconds. Like six that's seconds it. long. <laughs> <laughs> We've uh, successfully trolled the internet. Yeah. Speaking um, of trolls. What? Okay. So, did you watch it yet? No, I'm gonna watch it tonight. Okay. Let me know I'm what you think. I loved the first Trolls. I'm gonna, let Copeland, I'm gonna let Copeland do my makeup and style my hair for it. <laughs> Can you please send me a photo? <laughs> yeah. I'm just envisioning you with just the huge <laughs> troll hair, just like covered in glitter and everything. I'm excited for that. You gotta send me some of that gotta be glued in order to make it happen. <laughs> I'll get you just... <laughs> It'll stay like that forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so. If everyone wants to submit some questions, hit that question mark box at the bottom. Um, hit us with some questions and I will sift through and maybe uh, Kellen and I will answer a few of those. What do you think, KQ? I'm down. I keep looking at my trash stash though in the, in the, <laughs> the camera. Thinking, are you thinking, about shaving, it, are you thinking about shaving it live right now? I'm trying to grow it long so I can twirl it, dude. Put a little wax in there. <laughs> um, this is actually, this is a great question. How's your day going? <laughs> My day's going good. I woke, I've been waking up really early, even though I don't have to. I don't know why, but my body just like- It sounds wakes, like me. Yeah, it, I wake up at like <laughs> seven, wide awake. Like I've got all this stuff to do and then I end up not having nothing to do. But I like having, I like having like a couple hours of just peace and quiet before That's... before my little storm gets out of bed and starts raging around me. <laughs> Uh, but my day's going great. I'm, I'm not doing that much today. I, I made it a point to just kind of do nothing. And it's funny because when you decide to do that, when you decide to have a day that involves you doing nothing, that's when everyone hits you up to do <laughs> yeah. uh, work related or, you know, like chore wise and stuff. So I'm trying to be diligent and just do nothing today. So yeah, I think that you and I are on the same page today. I think that I, I woke up early and I had kind of had it in my head of, you know, at some point today, like later in the day, and take it easy and chill. But, you know, things keep coming up and you want to get stuff done. You don't want to put it off. So hopefully um, later today I can kind of like take it easy, like you said. Yeah. Is it is it sunny there? Is it rainy? Like, what's the weather like? Um, it's been pretty rainy, actually. Um, for those that don't know, I live in LA, and it's uh, it's been pretty um, pretty rainy the last few days. How's it up there? It's nice. It, it was rainy last week, but this this week it's sunny. So I'm I'm trying to spend as much time in the backyard getting uh, some color on my skin. It's good. That's good, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be white as a ghost when you uh, are, yeah, you're when feeling right now, <laughs> I'm feeling it too. We need that warp tour summer Nick back. Bro. Oh man, that's like. I stayed tan for like four months. You look like a bronze Greek god. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, all right, I'm trying to uh, look through some questions here. Uh, mine, there's one that's stuck on mine. It says, how's your day? Do I just swipe that and it goes away or something? Nope, nope, oh, nope. There it is. I've got, I'm in control. What is okay. your favorite memory from while being on tour? While being on tour. My favorite memory from while being on tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really that's a tough question what's like a favorite memory you go first i'm think I, I gotta think there's been so many years so i gotta think through this 
there's so many years I have to, to so go back. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite memory. Honestly, this is, this may might be kind of cheesy, but I think that my favorite memory was the first show I ever played in Sleeping with Sirens. Uh, we, I think it was in Antwerp. I think um, it was it was on the Field This Tour 2013, I believe, and um, I think that's my favorite memory, just because you know. Uh, suddenly like being back into music and playing on stage again after not doing that for a few years um there was kind of that rekindled fire so that was probably at least off the top of my head a favorite memory i don't know if you could ever properly just bring it down to one favorite memory but that's right. my what uh about you it's gonna be something <laughs> really silly i can't wait no what i what i was thinking about just now was Nick's got to have some sort of like phone stand or something because I'm like, I can't get comfortable <laughs> holding my phone right now. Honestly, my trick right now is a laptop. It's just propped up on a laptop. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I've got like this little, uh, <laughs> I don't know, some, so some sort of like, I don't even know what you call it, some sort of stump or something that I'm just in front of. And... <laughs> You're doing great, dude. You're doing okay, great. Um, my favorite memory on tour. Yeah, you know, you probably would expect me to say something silly. Uh, and yeah. And you'd be right. I think my favorite memory always on tour is that last song at the last show right before we get to come back home. <laughs> I feel young, Matt. I feel no, young. no, no. My uh, my favorite memory of tour and always is like it's 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 probably getting back together with you guys and just kind of like that. For the first couple of days is always somewhat my favorite time because we haven't you know we're away from each other we don't live anywhere near each other so yeah it's the first time we get to see each other again uh justin has been living in you know what he calls lockdown or whatever <laughs> um so he always has a lot to say and makes me laugh quite a bit jack full anxiety attack because he's put together the set list and he wanted us to make sure everything works <laughs> maddie's usually just laying around shirtless outside getting <laughs> vitamin d just looking like a greek god and me and nick are yeah. just sitting in the background laughing at it all taking it all yeah That's i always my favorite. it's funny because uh yeah with justin he's got a lot to catch up you know with us or catch up us on so I feel yeah. like it's the first like two days of hanging out. Like we don't say a word. We just let Justin's gotta, he's just gotta get, gotta tell us all the stories, you know, but yeah. that is good though. I, I agree. And I look forward to doing that again, hopefully soon, but. We will, you know. man. Yeah. All right. Well, there is a lot of questions. There's over over a hundred in here. We don't, we don't have much time left. We got to go probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to, I was going to say we have over a hundred questions and we're going to answer every single one. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. This is a good one. What's your favorite horror movie? Ooh, you know what? I really like the scream movies. Um, okay. The first one is obviously my favorite, but I really love the, the way that the comedy and the horror is kind of mixed in. Yeah, like uh, Wes Craven did a really good job of that, and um, I just love the '90s nostalgia. Like I'm a huge '90s movies guy. Yeah, always it's always a good time. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the first Scream is my favorite horror movie. I would say The Shining, but The Shining gives me anxiety. It's like one of those things where I watch it once a year, and I'm like, all right, that was cool. I can yeah. watch Scream like all the time. It's hilarious. It's interesting. It's a, it's interesting that you bring that up because I haven't watched the Scream movies in i don't even know the last time i, I watched them it's got to be oh, over really? a, a decade it's, it's been a long time they are really good it's good um my favorite horror movie would be um nightmare on elm street really yeah only because to this day any of the nightmare on elm street films still like freak me out it like That's takes me back to being young and uh staying up late and watching uh, nightmare on elm street and just being scared out of my mind and i it, it still it still lingers when i when i watch those films is that and actually my is favorite that... is i think one of my favorites though is wes craven's new nightmare wait if you've what? Ever seen, have you ever seen wes craven's new nightmare no you should see it 
Okay. It was really, really good. Cool. Terrifying. All right. Um, 187 questions left. Nice. Um, We're flying through these, though. Do you guys have a secret talent? Yes, growing a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and, and buying Barbie Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great talent you have, dude. Um, mine is probably my, my weird joints. You definitely your weird joints. Yeah. But that's not a secret. I feel like we've, we've unveiled all of our talents. We, there's, there's no such thing as a secret talent done for us. I don't think so. Unless there's something, I mean, do you have a secret talent that I don't know about? I don't think so. We know each other pretty well. Yeah. I don't think we have a secret <laughs> talent <laughs> All right, 257 questions left now. It's gone up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so talk about it, this new quote-unquote single. Uh, well, Jack made me go in on a day off in L.A. when I could have been spending that time by the pool <laughs> relaxing after all the hard work that we were spending uh, out on, on the road uh, to yeah. go in and write a new single to keep the gears flowing as he says um you know we always have a good time when we go in with zach servini he's he's a blast he's always very very excited so jack had i think a riff or something like that because like the thing about jack is if he thinks about the riff it's never as good as the ones that he just randomly noodles during like sound check yeah you know, they can save those in his uh voice memo and he had one that was pretty cool so he was like let's go do that on the day off and we wrote this song called talking to myself which i think is is really awesome it's it's heavy it's fast paced it's like we wrote it with the intent of going on this amity tour and having something a little bit heavier more aggressive yes. uh to go along with our new album so it will be out soon and it'll be a really fun song to put in the set either to like open it up or to just kind of get everybody going crazy yeah yeah i remember that riff jack would always play it um before we would before we went on stage on the last tour mm -hmm. like he would always like check his in-ears with that riff that's because so. i told him that it was cool one day <laughs> and then it stuck with it. And it <laughs> stuck. Stuck. well thank you for doing that because the song is really damn good yeah it is um there's so many um what's your favorite band of all time of all time of all time uh i don't know if you had to pick one, I guess, if, you only, if you only listen to one band every single day for yeah, the rest of your life. Yeah, but there's so many subgenres. It's not there. It's a loaded question. Um, it, it's definitely a loaded question. I agree with you. If I had to listen to one band only, I don't know. I, I think probably like, so, I, probably like Linkin Park, I guess. Okay, that's good. Uh, I usually listen, I like, I like to listen to Linkin Park pretty much at least once a week i'd say they're probably my go-to be really I, yeah i do i wow. do I, I really like i really like uh their reanimation album where they kind of you love that record you yeah, talk about this remix a bunch a of the songs on hybrid yeah. theory and just kind of make them new it's really cool to kind of just throw on in the background and i really love the minutes to midnight album meteora was like huge for me i was talking about that the other day mm -hmm. and hybrid theory was an album that got introduced to me by like a, an older neighbor kid that I think I was like my youth pastor when I was going to church told me to listen to P.O.D. And I still yeah. love P.O.D. But like, he's like, P.O.D. is sick. P. He's like, listen sick. to Linkin Park. And he, he showed me Hybrid Theory and it just kind of like blew it's my like mind. like game over. Yeah. yeah, I played that record till it broke on my CD player. That rules. That rules. Um, favorite band? Uh, prop. Uh... You're gonna, listen the, to, you're gonna say the Beatles, probably. I'm actually gonna go with Queen. Yeah, Queen. I'm gonna go, I'm right. gonna go with Queen. Queen. Yeah. Good choice. Um, yeah, I think that they're. I mean, the Beatles are timeless, but I feel like Queen. 
I could listen to every single day if I could if I had to pick like one favorite band. I think that Freddie Mercury is the greatest front man. Um, and you're the second greatest front man, but Freddie yeah, is the best. <laughs> He's got a mustache. That's you know, for this, <laughs> you're trying to grow your Freddie. I got you. So yeah, probably Queen. All right, let me see. Uh, more questions. Um, favorite TV shows. Right now. I'd have to say Ozark. I'm I'm on season three. Yes, yes. So are we. Season two is a little monotonous for me. You didn't uh, like it. No, it's not that I didn't like it. Just a little monotonous. Trying to, you know, okay. but that's kind of like how season two is. There's like, what? What's up? What are you pointing at? What? <laughs> you found me. <laughs> I've been seeked. Your, your, your hide and seek game is over with. I've been seeked. Inside. I can't go inside. I'm doing this. <laughs> I can't. How am I supposed to go inside? Through that door. But why? Nope. What's in there? Does Copeland want to answer the question? What? Do you want, want to answer a question? You can't. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so, okay. Thank you. <laughs> she just rolled my Jeep down the stairs. My barbie. Oh, this is so good. Okay. I need quiet time. I can't go in there. I'm doing this. Where's your mother? No, this is entertaining. You? This is entertaining for me. I've been I love this. I'm going in. Okay. Pull my Jeep. Thanks for stealing my Jeep. <laughs> um, yeah, Ozark season two is a little bit slow, but uh season three is crazy so i'm enjoying awesome it. yeah we just watched uh episode one of season three so uh i thought it started off real strong so i'm pumped as well ozark is the go-to it's pretty cool right yeah um there's only a couple hundred questions left we're gonna get through them dude we're gonna get through it i might have to yeah. take a break and get a drink of water but <laughs> okay <laughs> um hold on a second this will okay. you, make you smile. Keep going, though. Okay. Um, <laughs> beautiful, dude. All right, what's your favorite food? Pizza, dude. Come on. Oh, yeah, he's got a tattoo and everything. Somewhere. There it is. It needs to be redone. What, uh, what kind of pizza, though? And are you... Four pineapple on pizza or no? Do you know what that sound was just then? It's a, it, oh, dude, look at this. Hey, hey. boys. <laughs> I, got, I got the tall boy, though. Yeah, I got the hobbit-sized one because I'm a hobbit. I feel like we're I feel like we're in Talladega Nights, like we're wearing the all the all the Topo Chico gear. Yeah, we're praying, yeah. praying to the Lord of Topo Chico. We should be. We should be. All right, so pizza is your favorite? Yeah, I like tried and true pepperoni. Pepperoni and cheese. Keep it simple. I think I'm the same actually. Just a, a straight up pep. Yeah, peps you can't beat it. No. Um there was this place, a town over from mine, uh called Giuseppe's which is not open anymore RIP but it was like this little hole in the wall pizza place where you could buy pizza by the slice and it's kind of like when we go to Philly and we get those giant slices just greasy on paper plates it's the way to go but, dude they had a cheese and pesto and it was like to die for dude it was so good damn now I want to have pizza I know <laughs> like crazy pizza <laughs> um my favorite food is Probably sushi. Yeah. Are you missing are you missing sushi right now? I'm missing, missing sushi. Right I'm missing, missing sushi. That. And we had just found a new spot in LA that we were super stoked on. We only got to go there once and I was like, I can't wait to come back next week and then kind of everything happened. So little did you that'll know be, that'll be like one of the first things that um that we do is go get some legit sushi. I miss sushi. Um, wow. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, no, we just answered about food. Hold on. Um, can you perform us a song, Callan? 
Yeah, waiting for you to send me guitar stuff. <laughs> Me and, Nick, me and Nick have this idea of going, uh, playing like a live concert together, and he's gonna record his guitar and send it to me. And then I'm, I've got this TV. For some reason, my wife bought this TV stand, and I made fun of her for it because it's like one of those media TV stands that has wheels on the bottom. I'm like, oh, like for like classroom? Yeah, I'm like, where did you buy this from? An elementary school? Um, but I can wheel you out and put a little hat on you, or what? I can even adjust the size of the TV so it's small, you know? <laughs> just like me, just a small little bit. Um, yeah, if people are, if people want us to do a uh, at home concert, we can definitely look into that. It seems like people are stoked on it, judging by your eyebrows. Yeah, I might even shave the trash stash for that. Nah, so nah, I say keep it now. I'm all about all right. it. All right, we'll keep it. We'll keep it going. I dude. give honestly, I give you. I give you two more days with it. You're gonna have to <laughs> if I don't have to do any more live streams, no one's going to see me. <laughs> um, all right. Do you guys have any pre-show rituals? Uh, yeah, I changed my outfit like five times. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I changed my outfit like five times. Um, um, I obviously have to warm up my voice, which is usually during uh, Nick's FaceTime time. <laughs> I usually walk in the That's back right. and Nick's like, Nick's like, you need to use the back lounge to warm up. <laughs> yeah, it's typically my FaceTime time. Um, my, That's your pre-show ritual, FaceTime. Yeah, it's FaceTime. Uh, but also my pre-show pre -show ritual is finding Jack because Jack <laughs> waits until there's 10 seconds left to go on stage. So we have to, to rank. Why is that? <laughs> Why is that? Because he wants to be like, we call him Motley Jack. He wants to be Motley Crew so bad. He's always he's just like, like, like by himself on the up. bus, like blaring, yeah, blaring metal or something. At, like, he's level like, I want to, I want to roll up in my car before the set, walk <laughs> through the venue with a mask, take the mask off, have my guitar ready, beer popped. <laughs> he's just the coolest guy, dude. <laughs> He is the um, and I, I miss him. Um, what? Okay. What is your favorite tattoo? The next one I'm getting. It, which is? I don't know. That's just always my favorite tattoo. <laughs> the newest one you get. It's not, it's not some old ass tattoo you got. That is that is the best answer. When I did not expect that to be your answer. It's the next one. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. But it'll be my favorite. Um, my favorite tattoo um, is probably um, half of this this heart right here, but it looks like a cheese wheel. <laughs> But uh, the other half is tattooed on, on Jenna. But hers looks more like a heart, but mine looks more like a cheese wheel. So every time I look down, it always makes me laugh because it doesn't look like a heart at all. Well, that's romantic. <laughs> hey, babe, you can have half my cheese wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite thing about being in a band? Oh my gosh, I just had the perfect roast that Jenna could pull on you. Is she listening? Yeah, yeah she's listening. Okay, so next time you complain about something, she can say, what, you want some wine with that cheese? <laughs> she got the cheese tattooed on your hand. Whoa, that's good. That would be a good roast. It would make me cry, though, and I wouldn't like it. It's such a, <laughs> it's such a dad roast. It goes perfect with a stash, dude. Which I love. I love dad jokes. All right, favorite thing about being in a band, Kellen Quinn. Probably the popularity, the power. Uh, <laughs> uh, my favorite thing about being in the so band, modest. being in a band is I to this day I still love just creating new songs. It's exciting, like bringing an idea, whether it's just like a lyric or a melody, together with you guys, guitars, bass, drums, and making it a whole thing, and then just afterwards listening back to it and having just this excitement. It's like, I don't know, I can't explain it. There's nothing like it. So I'd say that's my favorite part about being in a band is creating music. I like that. And it's true. There's <clears throat> there's something very 
cool and very special that you can't properly describe when you first hear like that mix, that first mix when everything is like, here we go, this is what we recorded, I'm gonna play it for you. And then you hear that back. There's just something so awesome about that. And I'm on board with that. And I think that my favorite thing about being in a band is, um, look at you showing off your plaque, dude. Damn. Not, not trying to. <laughs> <laughs> trying to set this up. Am I, am I sideways now? Yeah, you're sideways. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> you thought you had it figured out. I'm finding a stand for this, dude. Um, my favorite thing about being in a band is I love playing shows. I I love it. Like I I still get super nervous. I get butterflies before every single show and I love that feeling. I just love when we all get on stage together and just like zone out into a whole other universe and just do our thing. I think it's like the one place where I feel like I can just be as crazy and as wacky and weird as I can. And it, it's like, it's okay. I know. So, I agree. That's a nice, that's a good answer too. I like that. Yeah. I like your setup, dude. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, man, that was really stressful having to hold my phone that long. Wait, were you, was it burning? It hurts. It's so yeah. heavy. Um, have you been doing uh, in home workouts still? I have. Awesome. How's yeah, that been? I, um, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I look skinny still. I, I think I need to eat more food. Um, but I, I think I'll always be just skinny Kellen. There's, I, it's not like I can be like hunky Kellen. <laughs> All right. Question, what made you want to go back to playing heavier sounding stuff? Playing soft stuff is boring. <laughs> it is. Well it put. Boring. Next it question. Was, we, uh, you and I, we talk about this quite often. We were playing like a rock festival and we had to play like all of our heavier songs. And we just, afterwards, you and I were like, well, that was way more fun. We yeah. enjoyed doing that. I think that there's, the reason we started playing music in the first place, both Nick and I, I think, came from a place of aggressive uh, feeling. Yeah, and I think that that's mm -hmm. what makes this band work really, really well. And um, I think that there's always something to have some anger or frustration with, and it's it's just more relatable, you know? Yeah, I agree, completely agree. And I do remember that moment. We played a festival um, somewhere in the States. And I remember you got in, um, um, a blow up raft. Yeah. And they floated you all the way back to the soundboard and like you just disappeared somewhere, but then just came back and yeah, we had had, you and I had had that moment of, dude, we're, we're a rock band. Like we love, we, we love that. We love, we love loud guitars. You love loud drums. I mean, you love drums. So. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything else that I would rather. Uh, hang, hang on one sec. You keep, you keep talking about how I was inside of a blow up mattress real quick. I, I gotta go grab one thing. One second. Okay, go. Perfect. Yeah, so, so Kellen got in a blow up um, raft thing and proceeded to get, um, you know, go across the crowd all the way to the to the soundboard. But he actually didn't get to come back before the end of the set. So once the set was done, we were off stage and he was still lost somewhere in the crowd. Fortunately, he was able to make his way back. I don't know how he did it. But um, he made it back su successfully to be able to uh, do this Instagram live with everybody. So, um. There are so many questions. Wow. Um, I'm back. Okay, welcome back. Hang on, the glare. It's trying to. Oh, there I am. Wow. You're gonna get everybody hyped up right now. There I am, dude. 
Just running around with my shovel. Just digging so it are up. You able to, are you able to give Ooh. out your, I, your like, player ID? How does that work? Or do you have to, like, add people? How does this? I can't. Um, I so... asked, somebody asked me if I wanted to. Here, I'll, I'll run over to my house. This is really hard to do without being able to kind of see what's going on. Uh, that's so, is that you? so is that you? That's me. <gasps> this is really tough. Oh my gosh, I'm doing so good without being able to really look at it. Look at how I'm doing it. I'm literally showing you. Oh, like, wow. I didn't, even, I didn't even realize that's how you were doing it. Okay, so what were you, what did you ask me? Um, I don't know. Now I'm just sucked into watching you play Animal Crossing. I know. I don't know where I'm at right now because I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, Hang it on, let me like, find out where my house is. Hang on. Okay, it looks like a lot of people in this... Um, in this Instagram live are Animal Crossing fans, so. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's really relaxing, uh, but there are some gripes that I have with it, actually. Let's hear it, go. Okay, so gripe number one. Right now it's almost Easter, right? So this, mm -hmm. this bunny is making you collect all this stuff. Uh, this, these hideous pastel items that you have to, you have to collect these eggs and everywhere you go, like, there's other things you got to collect in the game to build currency to, like, upgrade your house or make your island bigger and cooler. Okay. But okay. the damn bunny is taking up all my time because I keep finding these Easter eggs and I got to build some <laughs> crap with it. And uh, I love someone said stupid eggs. Stupid eggs. Yeah, for sure. And then also, I find all these cool bugs and fish and I'm torn between selling them because I know they're going to be worth a lot of coin or giving it to the owl guy so he can, like make his museum bigger and so i feel it sounds guilty. really stressful i'm stressed for you no it's I've not stressful. I've... It's fine. <laughs> all right here we are yep now i'm running there's my but, house um does copeland play animal crossing as well uh she plays mine yes all right let me go gotcha. in my house okay that's your house yeah it's a beautiful house thanks hang on i can't Where is it? come on <laughs> come on dude Everyone's Here talking about how they. Everyone's saying how they hate these eggs. I don't. I. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know much about Animal Crossing, so this is all like my first time watching. This, this. is my house. I got. I, I. I got this cool table. It's made out of stone. <laughs> Where do you sleep? Oh, I got a bedroom. I'm showing oh. you my record player though. First, there it is. Oh. Hang on. I gotta try to figure out how to turn him around. Okay. I'm going this in my look? bedroom. There's my bedroom. <laughs> This looks very Sims to me, right? Is this like Sims like? No, Which I've yeah. kind of asked you before, but look at that carpet though. Wow, you're fancy, dude. What do you think about that? I you you're living large, dude. And I just look at I designed this bed. It's got skulls on it. I got Does it? it? It has skulls on it? Yeah, it's got skulls on it. Wow. Yeah, I make a lot of my wardrobe too. Of course. This is just plain I, I feel like playing being basic today, but I have my own wardrobe and i got a pet fish it's like a little nemo guy in there. what's the name of your fish have you clark. named your fish clark <laughs> I, I say morning clark <laughs> i'm gonna go outside and shake some trees and dig some holes pal uh, keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> so good so you're enjoying yourself with animal crossing yeah so clearly. back to the first question how's your day going a lot better now it's it clearly going very very well all right, we'll do um, two more questions. So this okay. is second to last. What's the worst thing about being on tour? Uh, what hoodie are you wearing? What is that? It's a company called Fratello. Oh, I like yeah. it. It's cool, huh? Yeah. I like it too. I got these really awesome jeans that are like custom designs, but they, uh, but it's like not jean weather. But it is hoodie weather inside, yeah. so I wear this all the time. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. Um, what was your question? Oh, yeah. What's the worst thing about being on tour? That's a loaded question. Probably our merch guy's uh, foot spray stuff that he puts in his shoe. <laughs> what is it? The odor eater? No. Whatever it is. <clears throat> whatever it is, it tastes awful. And the reason I know <laughs> what it tastes like is because he sprays so much of it. Not only in his own shoe, but in everyone else's. He goes down the bunk alley. Yeah. And I just hear. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I can smell it and it gets in my mouth. It's not cool. 
Well, it's worse for me because I sleep right under him. So my bunk is right below his and I'm not, I'm on the bottom. So when he sprays all that stuff, it all goes down right into my bunk. And yeah, I'm just like, I'm chewing on the spray. It's not, I don't think it's good to ingest. I'm pretty sure. No, it explains a lot of things that have gone wrong with me. Okay. <laughs> um, the worst thing about being on tour. Um, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you feel the same way. Like you miss home. Like yeah. our, our families, like, you know, I, I, I do miss that. It's, I think that touring is both, um, I don't want to say love, hate, cause I could never hate touring, but there's, you love. I, th I thought you just, I thought you just made up a word called la pay. <laughs> la pay. <laughs> <laughs> I probably did. Oh, I lost you. <laughs> But yeah, worst thing is just is just missing home. But it's uh it's always nice at the end of tour knowing that uh you get to come home to this. What you're looking at right now. Look hey. <laughs> Look hey. <laughs> um all right. I was covering up my stash, but kinda like my stash without it. <laughs> <laughs> um all right. How about you just pick the next, the last question, Kellen? You just ask them. Why don't we each pick one? You pick one and I pick one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. My first, my, well, my question to you is when you're not doing things like live stream uh -huh. or having to show your, your face and stuff. Uh huh. Do you still wake up and put pants on, or are you just kind of like floating around in some sweat shorts and in the in the in the in the cozy Nick Martin green sweat shorts that you always? <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually made it a point um, to get ready every single day. So you do put pants on. Yeah, I think that the, for the first few days that uh, um, we had to start staying home, um, I was just lounging hard, you know, just sweatpants all day long. Um, but I definitely made it a point now to either get changed in the morning into my workout clothes or to just get ready in clothes for the day. I think it's just been good for me mentally, I think. Yeah. Uh, what about you? I'm, you still just, on, right? I'm still <laughs> putting on different, I can't decide what to wear. So I'll put on sweats and then I'll put on pants and then I'll take my pants off and then I'll put sweats back on. And of, so, course, and of course, my wife gets mad because she has to do laundry and I, I'm soiling all my stuff. <laughs> soiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is taking a turn. <laughs> um, um, I'm gonna ask you one question, dude. One question. Except I can't think of Oh, one. you're not supposed to touch your face. And I was totally just touching my face. Now I dude, to... dude, come on, man. Now I, I gotta go take a hot scold and shower. <laughs> Actually, I've, I have a good question for you. What, um, what are your plans for this weekend? Nothing. What, is, what kind of question is that? You mean uh, I, I was expecting you to answer, is it the weekend? Wait, <laughs> this weekend is Easter Sunday. It is, yeah. So I can finally get rid of all those items I've been making for that damn bunny and I can move on in Animal Crossing. There it is. Great answer, Callan. What and about I'm, you? Um, this weekend, what are we doing this weekend? <laughs> oh yeah, we're, so we've been baking a lot. Baking cookies. This weekend we're doing Madelines. Have you ever had Madelines? That's a show, right? <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Happy birthday, Kristen. Happy birthday. Um, how was Liam's birthday? It was great. That's it, huh? It was just great? I mean, yeah, it. I mean, it's right. as well as it could be on a lockdown. Like, he came over, we yeah. had some gifts for him. Yeah, cool. Well, good. I, tell, him that, tell him that's happy birthday. I will. I call uh, I call me and Kate his parole officers because he <laughs> parole it, officers yeah because he goes he goes and stays with his dad sometimes yeah and, uh, 
and when he comes to our house, it's like to check in. To make, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like we're like this portal officer. I got you. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, this weekend for me, it's just going to be baking and um, finally uh, having some legit downtime. Do it. Probably do a puzzle. Watch mo more of Ozark. That's my immediate plan. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And um, on that note, I miss you, dude. I love you. And <laughs> I don't have a cool pinky ring, dude. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. What are the rings? Wow, I see what you did there. One ring to bring them all. <laughs> and in the darkness, find them. <laughs> <laughs> all right we love you guys um nick kellen sleeping with sirens thank you to hot topic for having us um we love you all stay home take care of yourselves stay healthy and get uh, animal crossing and get animal crossing <laughs> and get we'll happy. see and we'll see you guys at some point on the road bye nick bye Jenny. bye bye, bye.